Hello everyone, it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. We're in week five. I can't believe five weeks have gone by already. Whew. Time flies, right? Today we're practicing the law of least effort. This is the doobie doobie do law. We get to set in motion and do the things that we need to do and then just be. Allow things to unfold the way that they're intended to unfold. Now, when we think about the elements of today's practice, acceptance, responsibility, and practicing defenselessness, we also have to remember that yesterday we were practicing the law of cause and effect. So we absolutely have to entertain the idea that some of the choices and the decisions that we've made in days gone by may very well show up today. And sometimes when things show up, they are favorable, favorable uh, responses, and sometimes they are unfavorable. And today is the day that regardless of what shows up, we're going to continue to flow. We're going to continue to move forward. We're going to continue to remember what our trajectory is, and we're going to remain on course and on target. And we're going to allow life to happen. So what does that mean? That means that we're not going to buck the system today. Today is the day where we are going to when we meet with resistance or we meet with turbulence or we've got some disturbances that come up, today is the day that we want to create some space between us and the circumstances or the people or whatever is coming up for us. And just take a step back rather than engage and become involved emotionally in things that may take us off, off course. Okay, that's what we're thinking about when we're practicing the elements and the components of today. The chakra that's related to today's practice is the sacral chakra. This is our creative energies, our creative and sexual energies. This is located in the pelvic area. The color associated with today's chakra is the color of orange. And the mantra associated with the chakra today is VAM. VAM. So we want to be thinking about that creative energies. Now, this chakra is also often referred to as the relationship chakra. So this calls people into play as far as I'm concerned. We all have relationships and we all have very, very different relationships in all elements of our life. We have work relationships, we have family relationships, there are parent-child relationships, there are significant other relationships, there are all types of relationships that are out there. And you know what? Any leader out there will tell you the most difficult part of their job of leadership is dealing with people and the dynamics that people bring to the table. So all the different personalities that we may have the opportunity to contend with today, today is the day not to push back on what other people are saying and offer up what we think is right. Instead, a better practice for today to be in alignment with the law of least effort would be to listen and entertain the perspectives of other people. When we do that, it's been, my, it's been my experience that when I sit back and I just listen to what other people have to say, I learn more about them and I learn more about myself. I pay attention to what they're saying and how I'm responding to that. Where, am I, you know, where are my thoughts and feelings come, coming from in relationship to what they're saying? You know, are they old paradigms? Do they serve value? Do they have value today? Are they still serving me? Am I really holding on to what I think is the right thing? And today, to be in alignment with the practice is just to listen and observe. See what you can learn. Today is a day that we can learn a tremendous amount about ourselves by just being witness to what's taking place outside of us rather than actively engaging in the process to make things happen the way that, that we want them to be or the way that they wish they would be. Today's not the day for that. Today is the day to sit back and observe. Again, just to reiterate, it doesn't mean that we sit back and observe and do nothing. We are actively participating in our day. We're just choosing, consciously choosing, not to engage in the dynamic, the, the resistance, the disturbance, the turbulence, the need to defend ourselves. Not necessary today. We also talked about the mind muscles, and today 
we have an opportunity to give them some exercise. If you remember on Monday, I introduced the mind muscles to you and I said that we are wimpy when we are not using our mind muscles. And our mind muscles are like any other muscle. The more we use them, the more they work for us. And, when, and the, the stronger that they get. When we don't use them, they atrophy and they start to work against us. So today's a day that we can use just about all of them. Reason, our ability to discern information, stepping back from things that may happen, disturbances, things that are getting in the way, the resistance, things that aren't going the way that we thought they should go. It's our opportunity to contemplate, give consideration to alternatives. Uh, using our will is another mind muscle, will. And that is our ability, and we will have to exercise our will because our natural inclination sometimes is to get involved and become engaged in things that aren't going the way that we want them to. We, Hey, I shared the Costco incident with you the other day. Okay, That's a great example of not imposing our will to stop ourselves from being engaged in something. Instead, today, we will have to consciously override the program of wanting to get involved in arguing a point. That's what we naturally do. Today's the day to exercise our will and try something different. Step back, lean away, disengage from that practice, even though that might be what our automatic pilot is telling us to do. Imagination. We already talked about creativity, and hey, we're in the creativity chakra. Okay, so creative solutions. If things aren't working out the way that we want them to or not showing up, we can now invoke our imagination and come up with creative solutions that may be more plausible to help us get where we're going. Great way to invoke the, the imagination. Memory. Hey, we might ask ourselves, have I been here before? Have I had a similar experience like this? What did I do the last time? Did it work? Did it serve me well? Will it serve me this time? Can I try something new? Call back, redo the replay, go back in your mind and see, have you been here before? And what you can do differently this time to get a better result. Perception, another mind muscle, here we go. How are we taking in all the information? Are we taking it in with bias? Do we have some prejudices? Are we listening to what other people are saying and passing judgment because we think it should be different? What are the filters that we're using? We have an opportunity to call it to question and then go back to reason and discern whether or not these things are working for us. And finally, developing our intuition, our ability to pay attention to this, the sensations that we're feeling. What is our gut telling us? What's running through? What energy is running through our body? Is it, is it negative energy? Or is it positive energy? Where is this negative energy coming from? Again, we want to lean away from the negative, negative energy today and just allow things to pass through. Developing our intuition is also an excellent way to be practicing the 90-second rule. Remember when we talked about, hey, it takes 90 seconds for a disturbance to run through our circuitry? Count to 90 today. Count to 90 today. Lean away from the situation. Let it pass. Create some distance and see if you can come up with a more, a, a more objective approach to whatever may not be working out the way that we would like it to work out today. Okay? An excellent practice to incorporate today is meditation. I hope that some of you are doing the 21-day meditation challenge or, or are incorporating some type of meditation practice into your day. I have to share with you, as somebody that is a very new meditator, this practice has been extraordinary for me because what it does and why it's so valuable and in alignment with today is for me, by bringing myself to stillness, it creates distance, it, cre it creates space between me and the energies of the world. So instead of all of these things and all the pressures of the world coming up so close to the point where I can't do anything except react, I have space in between me and those energies out there so that I can process the information and I can take a much more centered, more objective posture and approach to problems or disturbances or turbulence or resistance that may come up in my own life 
and choose more wisely, discern the information more effectively, take what I have and make a better decision. When I think about that and I think about um, experiencing life in resistance and sometimes just having to accept because accepting is part of today's practice, it brings me back to the movie Apollo 13 when the, guy, when the people were, were lost in space or stuck up in space and the, the engineers were down on earth and they, they have this box and they drop this big box of what looks like junk onto a conference table and they say to the engineers, this is what we have to work with this is what's in there in the space shuttle that they're in and this is what we have to get it back with so let's make it happen and so our ability to reason our ability to discern our ability to create space through meditation our ability to consciously consciously lean back reminds me of all that because when we have space to process information we come up with much better decisions and that's really what the practice is today it's really about stepping back and seeing if there's a better way, if there's an easier way. And sometimes we just need to let the disturbances, the turbulence, the mishigas, the, uh, the resistance, all of that just pass through and pass on by and send that on to the lazy river today. So that's what I want you thinking about today. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day today, and I look forward to talking with you tomorrow. Bye.